Hey, Jason here with the Creek Life Outdoors. Um, today I'm gonna be installing a WR Long third function valve on my Grand L3240, so the Kubota tractor. So I've put a grapple on my tractor and uh, I had it on my L2501 and it's got the third function valve already. I bought all of that uh, with it, sort of lessons learned from buying my first tractor. Um, what I came to realize was I wanted the lift capacity of the L32 Ford, but it's a heavier tractor, wider stance, and just that extra few hundred pounds make a big difference. So I missed the lifting capacity of my L32 Ford. So uh, I ordered the third function kit from Everything Attachments. Uh, I've, everything that I've read and heard, uh, Everything Attachments makes it super easy. They supposedly include the bracket, uh, the hoses, the links already made that you will need. And so I'm really looking forward to seeing how the um, Everything Attachments WR Long third function valve uh, fits up and how easy it is to install because I know nothing about hydraulics. I mean, I know the basic concepts of the hydraulic fluid and the pressures, but other than that, I don't know what I'm doing. I should probably take this to a dealer and get it installed, but I'm not gonna do that. Okay, let's unbox this uh, third function valve I got from Everything Attachments. I'm not affiliated with them, I get nothing from them. I paid full price for this third function valve, so uh, I'm just, let's take it out and see what's in this box. Okay, here's my switch. So that amount up to my handle. Switch will be there. It will make those exact sounds. Okay. So the hoses. And there's the valve makes it all happen and it comes with the bracket specifically made for my tractor they have most tractor models um, listed that I saw on their website and when I talked to them I called and ordered it just to get some clarification on a few things um, but this has the bracket made specifically for the Kubota L3240 so that's pretty cool I feel a little more confident in doing it myself uh, knowing this <laughs> we'll see how that turns out It's a lot more humbling when you try to do something yourself. You don't succeed and then you have to take it to a professional. And they probably ought to charge me, charge me extra when I do that, but it is what it is. I usually, unless I really have tried everything that I can think of, I can usually get it done myself. I'm not bragging, I'm just saying I, I, I mess up a lot, but probably do it the hard way three or four times but I'll figure it out so that's it it really doesn't look like a whole lot um, so I'm gonna read the instructions and we'll get started on this hang out and let's see if I can do this myself or if I have to take it to uh, my dealer let's hope I don't have to take it to my dealer I think I can figure it out we will see like I said I know nothing about tractor hydraulics other than it uses hydraulic fluid to pressurize the system and make things move. That's about the extent that I know hydraulics. So hang out with me. Let's see, let's see how far I get on this thing. Locate the existing bracket that supports the four loader hydraulic hose quick connect. Okay, so this is on my tractor. This bracket is between the tractor and the right loader support post. Using two holes in this bracket and two bolts provided in the kit, mount the WR long valve and mount assembly. Okay. I think this is the, the two holes it's talking about. Let's find that on the track. Okay. I think it's up like that. All right, number three says, there is a steel tube that goes from the power beyond port on the loader valve to a port under the seat. Remove the seat to access the steel tube. Oh, I wonder how 
hard. I wonder how hard this is gonna be. So in the instructions, it talks about a steel tube that comes from the loader valve, which is in here, to a banjo valve under the seat. And this is the only one that I really see that could be what it's talking about, because this is the only steel tube that goes to the loader valve. And this would make sense because this is your main pump. This is where all the magic happens in here. Already loosened it up a little bit off camera. I'm gonna lose some, gonna lose some fluid. I've got a large oil pan, open oil pan under the underneath here, so hopefully I can catch most of it. I have let all my hydraulics down, so I let my three point down here. Um, my loader is on the floor, so there shouldn't be a ton of pressure on this system as it stands right now. So I got this one out. You are inside the right rear wheel well. So you're sitting right inside the right rear tire. All right, so we're looking forward and we're right under our loader valve, so our, our control stick. And this is that steel tube that we just disconnected up under the seat. So we're gonna take this same wrench, and I don't think I mentioned this before, but I'm using a one and one sixteenth inch wrench. Uh, so we're gonna take this, And that thing is on there. So I didn't get it on camera, but I had to use a two by four to get a little more leverage. So I used it as a wedge um, on the back of the wrench. I couldn't get enough leverage to, to break it loose. I think that, I think that broke it loose, y'all. Now I took my straight fitting off of off of the uh, hose. So there's a 90 degree that comes on the end of two of the hoses that came with it. And so this is the straight adapter that goes on here. So I'm gonna put this on first. And you can see it's got a O-ring and a little um, washer in there. I'm gonna keep that on and that side is gonna go toward the valve. Okay, the one that came with the kit is actually a 7 8 start on the electrical. So I do have a helper with me on this project. Uh, she's been out here with me on the last portion of this uh, project, wiring it up, putting wire tiles on everything. Um, I don't know that we got her on video helping out, but she's been holding wires and everything else for me. So she is awesome. Her name is Katie. I have five kids. She is my oldest. How old are you, Katie? I'm 11. 11. So, Katie is awesome. She's been helping me this evening. There's another wire that goes to power, basically, a hot wire. I ran it to the battery. You can run, there's a fuse on, I don't know if all Kubota tractors, but most Kubota tractors that I've seen have a 10 amp, uh, what they call work light fuse. Uh, you can go off of that one. Yeah, there's an inline 10 amp fuse. And uh, I just tap that straight into the battery. Um, it's got the 10 amp fuse on it. Ran my wire so it wouldn't touch anything hot or anything moving. Uh, zip tied that all down securely. And so the next step is uh, I'll hook this grapple up and we'll test it out to see if, see if I did uh, what I was supposed to or if I need to take it to the dealer. I got everything installed here on the, the third function and I'm about to put it to work. So I'm gonna clean off a fence line today and I'll be posting uh, I'll be posting another video on that pretty soon. So y'all stay tuned.
please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Appreciate y'all.